Living through a global pandemic has been very difficult for everybody, but senior citizens are especially vulnerable. As Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief Kevin Hogan found out, there are ways to overcome the isolation and maintain a healthy attitude. I was scared, very scared uh, about the whole thing. Susan Daly overcame her fears about COVID by reading up on it. That it was the enemy, and I was going to learn everything I could about it. The 73-year-old psychiatrist wasn't going to let COVID get the best of her and her family, including seven grandkids who live out west. So they started a group text to stay connected and FaceTimed online. I would start off the texting group as, how is everybody feeling this morning? You know, because I, I worried so much. A normal reaction, according to Adrienne DeVivo of Hartford HealthCare's Center for Healthy Aging. A phone call or an email or checking in regularly just to see how they're doing and how we can help to support them. The pandemic has forced many senior centers like this to close or even limit their programming. It is a lack of social interaction which is added to the isolation for the seniors. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the risk for severe illness from COVID-19 increases as we get older. People in their 60s are at a higher risk than those in their 50s. Experts say keeping connected, engage with your family and community eases the fear and isolation. As for Dr. Daly, attending weekly church service online is comforting. We attend church on on FaceTime. That's how, it, you know, on Facebook, it, it's done live. Right. That started after a while. And, and that's very nice. We both enjoy that. Staying connected, making sure you're getting the help you need, reaching out. You know, we can't assume that our providers know that someone needs that support. You can find free support on Facebook at Harford Healthcare Center for Healthy Aging. And we have a link on the Channel 3 app. And of course, we also use, uh, you know, Facebook, FaceTime, computer, uh, any form of staying together, calling. Support can come from within, according to the CDC. Take care of your body, stretch, take deep breaths or meditate. Take care of your mind. Do activities you enjoy. Unwind. Talk to people you trust. Avoid excessive alcohol and drug use. We at the Center for Healthy Aging have several online completely free programs that people can log into at a variety of times of the day um, to stay connected. I guess we're all in it together, and, and that's, I guess, another big comfort. We, we haven't been sick. Staying healthy is key. Use the protocols, wear a mask, wash your hands frequently, use a sanitizer, and most of all, maintain your social distancing. This way, we each do this, we can get through this together. With the Mobile Newsroom in Hartford, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.